welcome back everybody to Rimworld. Today is going to be a management episode, uh, by which I mean sorting out all the things that are causing our people for the past few episodes grief. So dealing with things like the psychic droner, because we've had that for like three episodes now, so we definitely need to tidy that up. Uh, dealing with the insects, that's going to be a big top priority. Getting people guns too, I want to make sure that we're actually kind of a bit more in control of the situation because right now we're lacking a little bit now one thing that we have done to kind of assert a little bit of control over it is getting the uh, is getting this built essentially a, a nice little uh nice little growing zone indoors i don't know why that lamp thinks it's unfueled oh that'll be why where we built the bloody thing it's apparently replaced it okay that's a bit annoying anyway we'll, we'll work on our kind of indoor very basic very early indoor growing zone it's only using the planter pots uh with the sun lamp so there's no bonuses or anything but when we get sprinklers you know i've got a temperature control unit in there so it'll never get too hot or too cold in theory we're good for food we just need to work on all that other crap now there are a lot of suggestions with how to go about it many of you in the comment section yesterday were, were saying we should just make the fuel the uranium fuel pods which we specifically did research to fuel the shuttle we can take the shuttle over there because if we use drop pods of course we can get there but we can't get back because of the insects so we're in a bit of a weird situation right now i think we will probably try out the shuttle method of fueling the shuttle flying over to the place dropping down um wiping out what's over there and flying back however there is another alternate which i'm going for anyway because i think it'll be useful just to have in the future this is actually pointed out by Red Demon on Discord, and this is the Psychic Foil Weaving Research. So this will allow us to make Psychic Foil helmets, um, or hats, I guess is probably the better way to describe it. They don't really offer much in the way of defense, but they do offer defense from um, psychic, psychic Waves. I'm not sure about Psychic Ability so much. I don't know if they could still, you know, if we could still get hit by a burden and be slowed down or something like that. But for the time being, this is a really nice way just to... Just to slow things down, you know, we never have to worry about psychic drones or anything like that, especially during this early game where the raids aren't going to hit very hard. Along with that, there's also, uh, we, we do need to get advanced computing, which is good to get anyway because that increases research speed. After that, it's matter weaving, which is 7,200 points. Now, I don't know that we've got the resources needed to build a matter weaver. As I recall, it uses advanced components. So this might be a waste of time. We'll find out very soon. Um, but it's 3,000 research with advanced computing. We're about, well, just over halfway on that one. Then we've got the matter weaving, then the psychic foil weaving. I don't think it'll take that long just to try it. And as a test, this would be a really nice temporary way to deal with the psychic waves anyway. Now, it's also worth pointing out a couple of things that happened while I was setting up, as per usual. Uh, so, 8th of April at uh, today, it was literally 8 a.m. It's obviously 9 a.m. now. Uh, Amy C 2.0 asked Far to join. Far has joined, and of course, new character, new colony, new name. We have Kaczynski uh, has joined us. A very good character, actually. Fast learner likes it. Fast learner, slow learner, can't see each other out. Marksman, beautiful. Great combination. 12 plant skill. The perfect person to help run all of these farms that we've got for anyone we've researched devil strand pretty much only got a couple of people actually capable of planting that because this could be one of them uh we've got the chem root growing down as well so if we need fuel for anything in the future we've got that option going for us so that's actually quite a nice little addition there the other thing as well skylar is actually up on his feet um i decided not to rename this guy because a guy called jefferson leblanc with a face like that is is phenomenal to be honest a perfect hair for a perfect man called jefferson so he's also on board the bonus to this guy 10 construction minor um passion in that but also he's got the foreman skill gives 133 percent uh or times 133 percent so 33 percent faster construction speed as far as having a good builder in the colony join us that guy is incredible um let's get him to equip the gear as well actually we'll do it with you um, let's get you to equip the hatchet. You don't need the hammer, but I'll get you to get the pickaxe as well. Ah! Oh. You shit. Okay. Kaczynski went on a jailbreak because of the psychic drone, which is reasonable. Um, squad up, people. Let's get you four behind, behind here, I guess. Um, Hocus guns out, please. All right, here we go. Oh, they've, they've given up. Digging at sandstone wall. Don't you do that. Right, okay. Where is... Where's Where's Mondo? Mondo, Mondo, Mondo. Line up. Okay. Emily and uh, Ciala, you will be back up. Right, okay. Here we are. We're about to, we're about to breach. Fucking Kaczynski. I can't believe you would do this to us. I love that that was their prison break idea. We'll open one door, and then you guys have to tunnel through... Oh, about uh, 600 foot of solid rock. <laughs> right, okay, in. Let's let's move Mondo forward. Or not, that's an elephant leather doormat. There we are. And then you stay there. 
Okay, good, good stuff. Be careful you don't shoot one another. That's my only... Oh, lamp has been shot to death. Shit. Oh my god, we're killing them all. Shit. Well, I didn't want them to die. I just wanted to kind of, you know, teach them a lesson a little bit. You start stabilizing Flynn then. How about that? You move up. There we are. Capture Timmer. Good stuff. And then you get that corpse out of there. Damn it. What a pain in the ass. Yeah, you, you get lamp out of there as well. Ah. Oh. Well, never mind. I suppose it's less food to have to concern ourselves with. I had them finish sprinklers very quickly just to help out with the, with the food issue. Um, What's next? I have no idea what research to start going into now. So we can't go for mana, uh, matter weaving until we get that other, whatever it was called, the other advanced component. That's it. Um, we've, we've got some turrets there. To be honest, the columns research are... Kind of tempting me a little bit for the for the frozen columns, that type of thing. What about some weaponry, uh, like like turrets, advanced turrets, perhaps? Alternatively, we go for the shot pod and we build a space shuttle. That'd be kind of cool. A moon rocket. I think we'll go utility columns, fabrication, vitals monitor, surgical lamps, and that will also queue up hospital beds too. What's the other one? Vitals monitor, surgical lamps, surgical instruments. There it is, so that we can start working on a hospital pretty soon. Transport pod crash, bollocks. Uh, you're over there. We could... We could we could do that. That's okay. Blake, what's he like? Uh, very neurotic. Not necessarily terrible. Uh, bad right now. We've got the psychic drone. Misogynist, straight sleever. Oh, right. So that's from the altered carbon mod that allows you to clone your people with some really advanced technology. I don't think we'll ever get up to that stage. To be honest with you, jogger and neurotic is a nice combination. The feeling Mondo might break down before he's able to get this guy back. We'll see if we can get him, though, because he's actually quite skilled. I mean, the shooting skill especially is what I'm interested in right now, especially when we're over him with bloody insects again. Right, rescue. No unreserved non-prisoner beds. Okay, um, in that case, we'll... Again, we'll give him the opportunity to join willingly. If not, we've got some empty prison beds. Some some vacancies have become available. <laughs> oh, shit. He's thinking of you rescuing him. He decided he'd rather stay than leave. Well, I have the name ready for you, my friend, because I have a feeling we'd get him. Uh, we have Keg Denta Hungover. What a fantastic name. Brilliant. Oh, uh, hung, hung, Hungo. Fine. I'll remember that it's Hungover. He'll tell people it's Hungover, but they'll call him Hungo. as like a nice nice nickname. Oh, there he is. Old Hungo again. Keg Denta Hungover is a phenomenal name. Welcome. Uh, do you need tending or anything? Uh, I suppose the stabilizing is holding, huh? Very neurotic and jogger is a fantastic combo, isn't it? Jesus. Okay. Um, what will we get you to do? Stuff that's not going to drive you too mad, especially because the Psychic Drone's already dealing with that quite nicely for us. Um, hunting. I, I guess hunting's a bit pointless. I might just take that off for the time being. Okay, fishing is fine. Um, harvesting. Keep him nice and close to home. Plant cutting. I'm not going to have him mining because that'll obviously make him sad super, super fast, given they'll be in darkness and in a horrible environment. Um... That I think is okay, and then I'll just kind of follow the regular setup here for everybody else. Actually, I'll have you on delivery. Yeah, top delivery boy to help out our builders, because they're currently in the process of building, you know, three new bedrooms and whatever else we decide to set them on. Oh, really? You son of a bitch. Lightning just hit my bloody shells. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I still thinks we got three out of five. I guess that hasn't updated quite yet. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you shit. I want to make incendiary shells, because I feel like incendiary shells on this area would be devastating, wouldn't it? Just one good shot hitting that, and the whole thing would go up. Take out some of the hives, really clear this area out. Uh, we'll forget about this, and we could always just brick over this, right? Then we could have nothing to worry about. They're not going to mine through there for quite some time, but it's also going to... I'm, I'm going to stop my expansion towards that way. Shit, yeah. And I mean, if they keep digging it out, eventually they'll crush all their hives anyway, so... Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's go for incendiary shells next, then. Um, so we'll completely forget about those. We won't completely forget about them. We'll suspend them for the timing. 20 steel, 20 chem fuel. And we've just had no wood or plants coming in, I guess. No. We've got plenty of trees designated. They're just not cutting them. Let's put plant cutting back to the highest priority. Oh. Shit. Ah. Uh, <laughs> huh. That's a problem. That's a slight, that's a slight problem. Uh, have we got any weapons? Steel knife. Bollocks. Ah. Uh, Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, let's limit where our people can go for the time being. So, mountain base seems like a pretty safe option, right? Let's go ahead and expand all this stuff out. Make sure our people can actually get to the jobs I've assigned them to do. Shit. 
Oh, God. Okay. Well, let's hope we don't start starving to death again. We do have a harvest coming in, so it's not a big deal. And we've got our our rice farm now down there growing hopefully quite fast. Um, Run, little keg denter. What is that? We've got a hound. Uh, Oh, it's not that bad. God knows what's in the mech capsule, but it's not too terrible, is it? Mech low shield. Ah, so the new update kicked in and everybody's um a little bit confused, understandably. So in the patch notes, it says that the... uh. The shields have been renamed for clarity. So instead of it being called bullet shield, it's called mech low shield. Instead of it being called mortar shield, it's called mech high shield. Instead of other things, basically they've been renamed and they are way less clear than they used to be. Because a mortar shield tells you what it defends against. But a mech high shield for a new player, I imagine that would be quite confusing. I don't know why they've done it anyway. Um, gloom lights there, mech drop beacons, okay. So the charge turret is still the most lethal thing that we have to worry about. Off center, hate that. Um, we've got no shells either. That's fine. Let's ha let's have Chuckles work on. How are we doing for meals, Chuckles? Because Chuckles is also our head crafter and our head meals. Actually, meals are coming in thick and fast now, huh? Let's go ahead and pause that. Unpause at 108. Oh, that's not very generous. Um, yeah, 48 left. That actually will give Chuckles some time to start crafting as well. Don't know if I'll have edited this out, but Chuckles is still being affected by that weird mood glitch that we've seen in previous series with uh, with Sharamus. I wonder if Ciala is as well. Yeah, so Ciala and Chuckles are still unchanging, unthinking, unfeeling. I imagine a reload would change it. I think it did in the last series. Application is done now. Fantastic. That gives us options. So let's go for... Well, eventually it will, especially if we eventually get that bloody component. Um... So let's put down a fabrication bench. I think chances are we're going to have to trade for it more than anything else. Let's get a couple of fabrication cabinets down. Got the tool cabinet there. What about other linkables? Maybe rather than hospital stuff? No, I think hospital stuff is more important still. Speak of the devil. Bolt goods trader. Okay, that's good. Call them. What have they got? Uh, I'm looking for, if you don't mind, two advanced components. That's perfect. Wow, that actually couldn't work out any better. Um, we'll send them some cloth for that because we don't need 2,300 cloth. So, uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll sell 1,500. That's fine. We don't need a little bit of hyperweave. Human leather. God knows how we've ended up with 700 human leather. I have really no idea. Um, rhino leather. Again, we don't really need that. A human... L oh, butchering abominations. Ah, wow. That was worth a fortune. I'm glad we hung on to that in hindsight. Um, Kaisen, I don't really want either. Steel. We could afford to buy some steel. That's fine. Um, Psycho leaves tea leaves make psychite tea keep them a little bit happier. Have you got any psychic foil helmets? I'll take skull cap. That's from the new update. Um, repair shelf. That's not too bad. Uh, no foil helmets though. That's a shame. Jump pack. We haven't seen those before. They're quite fun, and we we are growing chem fuel, so we could we could refuel it. Um, actually no, we've used it once, I believe. The the jump packs. I could, I could be persuaded. Let's buy some wood, actually. Save my, my people are currently on the front lines right next to the mechanoid hives. Uh, sure. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Flak helmets and stuff like that, but that's not too relevant. All right. That's a done deal. Pleasure doing business with you. Ah, oh, I was hoping they'd drop it there. That's good. Okay. So we've actually got our fabrication bench online then. Brilliant. Bedrooms. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I think everybody's got a bedroom now. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, Let's put down some extra floors as well, just because we're missing a couple of tiles there. Fantastic. Look at that. Okay. Has everybody got a bedroom? 12 humans, 14 double beds. Uh, I mean, I can do maths there, and I can tell you we've got way too many sleeping areas, assuming they were to double up. All right. So, my top priority is very simple. Let's bomb the insects with incendiary shells. We are working on incendiary shells. Chuckles has, has churned out five, apparently. Um, I can only see four. Maybe I'm... Oh, there we are. Um, let's go ahead and get those moved over. That should be... Oh, right, because we lost our shelf. I was going to say that should be critical. Don't worry about a wooden shelf. Let's go for something a bit more durable this time so we don't get a repeat of that happening again. Uh, storage. Let's go... Uranium? Sure, why not? we got 594. That's not going anywhere at that point, huh? Weapons. No, are they any good? A jade hammer? A hammer finally fit for Mondo. Right, here we go. Uh, so the first one is a high explosive shell. We have one spare. Let's see if we can hit some of these hives. We can take those out a little bit. Oh, what a shot. Congratulations, you crashed the game. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And let's get some incendiary shells going next then. Are they coming to attack now? Not for long, they won't be. Um, where do we want to aim? Where do we want to aim? They're all kind of... I think if we aim like... If we aim at that one... 
Because they'll give up attacking in a second and they'll come back. There we go. Fire? What what happened? Hocus, what happened? Where did it go? Did she completely whiff it? Okay, that's not a that's not a big deal. I guess we'll fire at that thing instead then. Okay, here we go. Uh it's kind of okay. Yeah, it'll do, I guess. Some of a bit more damage than that, but that's okay. We've got to be careful we don't hit them too consecutively, otherwise they will come through. To be fair, we could wake up the mechanos then and just have them kill one another. That would work. Oh, they seem to be coming through. Well, that's frustrating. Uh, mechanoids, could do with a hand here, friends. They're awake. Yes. Kill. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, right, right. Hocus, do me a favor. Just go and shut the doors because that's going to be chaos out there for a while. Oh, this is good. I have a feeling the mechanoids are probably going to lose, but we'll see how we'll see how they get on. Um, is that going to call out the rest of them too? Oh, we got some good shots there on the hives, didn't we? And these ones are unaffected, I assume. Oh, no. It's calling in the rest of the hive. Hmm. Okay. Well, I did say today was about tidying things up. What have you grown there? Soybeans. Um, I did say today was about tidying things up, so we'll just have these guys kill one another. That's fine by me. Yeah, these mechanoids don't stand a chance, do they? Although that'll take out quite a few. That's nice. There we go. We'll just let them kind of juke it out for a little while. Oh, dear. <laughs> huh. Um, and I assume the rest is still making their way over very slowly. Yeah, we could get a shell down there and try and light five to them as they come through. I don't know how confident I am about being able to land that, but we'll give it a go. Sod it. All right, why not? And then the queen and kind of her Praetorian guard are just going to sit around there. Some of the mega spiders, some of the royal mega spiders, the locusts, they're not moving. But these guys are my biggest concern. All right, let's give this a go. Uh, how accurate are you feeling? Let's go for something like, oh, no, no, we want to shoot the ground. Shoot the ground, set the fires. Here we go. Good luck, little hocus. Um, right, Emily, I did allow to go out there to basically get the wood, but this is obviously not feasible anymore. How are we doing? Well, the mechanoids have been defeated pretty damn fast. Hooray, says the game, not realizing the utter chaos we've brought about onto our base here. Well, the fires will act as a nice deterrent as well. Slime down a little bit. How's that How's that shell coming along, Mocus? Mocus? Any, whenever you're ready. There is a golden opportunity just there that I cannot overlook. Come on. Load it faster. <laughs> oh, the game's so angry. There are so many insects. Come on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, now as she starts firing, I'm going to probably rearrange it. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, maybe down here. Go fly like there. Come on, come on, fire. Fire now. Now we'll be good. Okay, not bad. You completely whiff that. What a fucking miss. Okay, well, never mind. Back about your business. Uh, yeah, go home for a little while. Let's just let the chaos kick off. Oh, please don't do that. Uh, um, right, boys. <laughs> we may have a slight problem on our hands, I will admit. Um, you guys could, uh... <gasps> wow, that was close. Count that as a blessing. Uh, we're taking out a couple of the hives. Jesus, that didn't really help much. We've dealt with the mechanoids, and that's about it. To be fair, we've got this area open back up again, and the rain's going to deal with the fires, so... Oh, thank you, insects. Why are they coming back? No, 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 no. Don't do that. They're actually through. Okay, if we ignore them, maybe they'll just go away? Shit. Um, I, d I don't know why there are still explosions and things going on. Uh... Fuck! Okay, this is bad. This is bad, people. Uh, we're gonna need some. We need some help. Shit! There's no way in hell these guys can take out that many insects. Do we have any other weapons? He's barely had a chance to craft them yet. Nothing. We can't even put down turrets because we've got three steel. Um. Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. All right. Not a lot can be done right now. They've gone back to sleep. Uh, is that wise, Mondo? You know what? If you're going to hit a bug through there, I'm going to let you have it. What a shot. But he woke it up. He didn't actually damage it, though. Fuck, what do we do? These infestations. Honestly, the vanilla expanded insect mod is insane. Like, they, they, it creates such powerful insect hives. And we had no way of fighting this early on. We'd have just It would have just been a suicide charge. 
And now that we've left it, it's just out of, it's just completely out of hand. Just completely out of hand. Like, this would be manageable. Like I said, mortar shells, no problem. Uh, but when we're looking at 21 mega spiders all lined up ready to eat our people, that's not ideal. But what can we add to help out here? Um, I mean, a Gatling gun turret? Because those only require potentially some uranium Gatling gun turrets. That's something. It, and it, I mean, it's better than nothing at all, right? Because we just don't have guns for our for our people right now. Shit, this is horrible. Okay, we'll get a couple of those down. And hopefully we've got enough steel to... Because we're out of steel and we're out of components. I've had to actually take apart the uh, the start of our fabrication bench just to be able to, to kind of arm ourselves a little bit. Hmm. Well, let's see how this will go then. Fuck. They are trashing my stuff. Um, let's leave the door open. Try and bait them out. Otherwise, we're not gonna... Otherwise, they're just gonna turn around again. I want this kind of dealt with now, to be honest with you, because this is a pain in the ass. Come on. Come on, fight me. Okay, right. Get out there. Go. Distract them. Wake them up. Do something. Yes, there we are. Surely they can get through an open door. Come on. There we go. There we go. I feel like we do have an advantage here. I feel like it's probably not gonna go as bad as you think. Come on. Why are they not attacking? Meteorites. Where did it land? That didn't sound very good. Where did, where did that land? Oh. Well, that's not helpful. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on in. No. Well, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> ah, here we go. Right. This is good. If they actually... They're not. They're not coming through the open door. That's bizarre. So I could stand Skylar here, bait them out, and then run him back through, and they can't get in? Well, this is strange. Uh, you need to not do that, if that's okay. Weird. Okay, well, let's set that door to close, then, and we could just have Skylar move in and out. Come on, come get me. So it's right here. That's it. There we go. Dinner is served. Whenever you're ready. God, these insects suck. Mondo, you are not helping, my friend. They are just going to trash absolutely everything, aren't they? Well, I suppose we get a bit more steel out of it. Ooh. Depends where it's landing. That could be big. Where is it landing? Uh, where's the space battle going on? Well, it's landing somewhere. I have a feeling it's probably in the rest of the map that we haven't uncovered yet. There's probably a big open zone somewhere. Damn it, I was hoping that would help us with the... Ah! Uh, did I see that? Yes! Well, that's something. We might crush a couple of insects. It's not fantastic, though, is it? What are they doing? Come and attack, you weird fucking insect. Come on, kill me. The anima tree died. Come on, we're stood right here. That's it. Can we get some food? I've never seen any... I've never seen such bullshit in my life before. <laughs> They're too smart. You can't even kill box them. Shit. Okay, well... I'll send you back in. You've got a gun at least. Mondo is just going to stand there being a, a mighty fine distraction. There we are. Has that done the trick? Then we just need someone with a gun to stand there and, and bring him over. But even then, they're not actually coming through. They're attacking the mountain? This is so strange. Right, let's pull you over slightly so you're not getting the kind of a last second attack. Bring you like there. Bring you there. All right, this might do it. This might do it. Okay, I'm going to get you to run back. Mondo, if you could uh, stop being a dick now, that would be ideal. Insulting garbage. Mondo, I need you to move. For God's sake, Mondo. Well, Mondo's going to die at this rate. I, I hate Mondo. Mondo, you are the most stubborn man. Well, this didn't work at all, did it? Fucking hell. These insects, they are unstoppable. They're absolutely unstoppable. Um, this is a little too much, in my opinion. Um, and there is no way I can get out of this, is there? Alternatively, some sort of fucking miracle happens and we kill them all here now. But I think we can all agree that's unlikely to happen. But I'll give them a, I'll give them a chance. Why not? We'll give them a go. They seem to be doing an all right job, to be fair. Go on, then. Go for it. Go nuts. Go about wild. See if you can actually kill these insects. It's all because Mondo was was screaming about, you know, the shit that Mondo screams about. Get him out of there. Taking out the light. That's a little annoying because now we can't see them so easily. That's all right. Go on, then. Got a few more mega spiders coming in there. 
Let's move you forward. Get some get some clubbing going. They're actually not doing a bad job. I take back I take that back. Holy shit. But this is only the start of a much larger problem. How many other mega spiders are there? Fucking loads. <laughs> This was the start of a larger problem. I think we need to push the advantage now, don't we? I think we need to patch our people up, shut the door, push the advantage while we've got it, and take out those starting hives. We can't take out the main hive. I couldn't even approach that thing without our people getting wiped out. Okay, um, here's the plan then. Here's the plan. Um, we, we've kind of reclaimed our base, but it's only half the battle, really. It really is only half the battle. Because we've got more coming in right now anyway. Oh, fuck. Okay, defensive positions. Don, I need you to patch up Mondo before he dies. Uh, get out of here. Uh, Don, 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 Don. Tend to Mondo. It's not going to be ideal. Mondo might die again, but that's okay. Well, not die again, but almost die from an infection, basically. Come on. Okay, Skylar, I appreciate the effort. Let's pull you out of there, friend. We've got these few last insects being assholes about it. I think it is because we've got that steel door there, you know. I think that alone is is making this a lot harder than it needs to be. All right, shit. There we go. I think we've actually dealt with the majority of the spawned in horde. But again, we still have the entire other one to deal with. Die. Die. Why did that blow up? You only have yourself to blame there. Did he not? Oh, he didn't even tempt fucking Mondo. For God's sake, you people are useless. Okay, well, have we got a good backup, Doctor? Chuckles. Chuckles the Doctor. Fuck, Don. Seriously, bleed out. Bleed out. I'm fine with that. You pissed me off. Rescue Mondo, and then if there's time, maybe then you can pick up Don. Maybe then. Don bought that on himself. Hey, I'm going to kick an explosive turret. Fucking idiot. Should have left him on the floor. New recruit. Excellent. Let's take a look at you. How good are you here? Skill medic, slow learner, fisherman, crack shot. Brilliant. Uh, 11 melee. Actually, not bad plants, animals, and... Oh, an okay crafter as well is actually something we could really do with. Oh! A backup doctor, you say? So that we don't have to use Dr. Donald, Dr. Chuckles. <laughs> wow. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, I'll make some more scalpels then. Um, actually make good use of your skills, because to be honest, this is... This is tragic. Like, the second Mondo goes down, everybody starts dying for fairly obvious reasons. Let's also get you on crafting, too. Why not? Another good crafter I can't complain about. Mondo's back up? Wow, that's surprising. I thought he'd be out of the picture for a very long time. Let's get him re-equipped. Get it, allow him to get all his weapons back, and then we're going to we're gonna push this. We're going we're gonna to take the advantage, like I said. We're going to head out there, and we're going to kill. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a spare charge rifle. Who's not using that? That's Don's. Okay, fair enough. How's Don doing? He's lost a kidney. That's pretty significant. That's actually huge. Uh, in that case, garbage. Congratulations. You're on the insect kill team. I'm sure you're very pleased to hear about that. Was that an HMG? Ooh. Um, sorry, go ahead and re-equip that as a sidearm. There you are. Uh, that's big. Okay. Who's next? Zerato. Uh, 0 0.59 shooting. I take that back. Keg Denter. Congratulations, my friend. You're also on the, on the insect squad. Good shit. A lot of you are probably wondering why I didn't put the armor on. Uh... I didn't think it was really worth it, because we only got a couple of insects actually coming through. And Mondo, the only person who actually got damaged by the insects significantly was Mondo. And the only reason Mondo got damaged was because he was standing in the doorway screaming at garbage for being garbage. <laughs> right, let's get out there. Let's take the fight to them. Good work, people. Uh, Hocus, how you doing? You've been, you've been patched up, right? Uh, and decently enough, as far as I'm concerned. Do it. Kill them. We will take out these insects, and then we've got all this stuff from the sky to keep us going for a while. Plenty of components, plenty of steel. How many insects are there left? 13 mega spiders. That's actually quite a lot. Do you think we could take out 13 mega spiders with this squad? Probably not really. We'll see how it goes. Um, I mean, to be fair, if we fight them over the river, we've got something there. You know? If we fight them over the river, they're going to be slowed down quite significantly. If we, if we stand here, see what damage we can do. Okay, good luck, people. This is probably a bad idea, but run and gun is going to be going to be our biggest savior, I think. Uh, or, you know, good shooting. That would also be quite nice. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Keep firing. Never stop. Let's push the advantage. Take these friggin' insects down. Okay. Hocus. Let's pull back to here. Pull back slightly. Not far, but very slightly. Look, see, only some of them are actually coming to attack us right now for reasons I don't quite understand, I'll be honest with you. But watch out for those guys. They're trying to get a flank on us here. Pull back. Okay, good shit, good shit. Oh, you know what? Maybe a little bit apprehensive. 
Maybe moving a little bit too early there. Good shit. There we go. Great damage. Oh, nice work. Mondo is on a daze. Where, where is Mondo? Oh, Mondo didn't even make it. Well, that's fair enough. Whatever. Okay. Back up to here then. Again, fight them over the river. That's going to be a big benefit. There we go. Fight the hives. Now, the question is, is this going to pull in the rest of the insects? It bloody is. Fuck. Um, it's because we're shooting up our hive, isn't it? So if we head back a little bit more again, just kind of pull a few mega spiders at a time here. Okay, if we, we could probably stand here for a little bit. Because this way we've got a clear shot without all this bloody steel being in front of us. A smart person might have mined out that steel first. Uh, I am not that. That is, that is not me. Right, here we go. To be honest, we'll probably be fine. We look like we're going to be probably okay. Oh, what a shot there with that anti-material rifle. Holy shit. God, these mega spiders are resilient. And um, where are the others? They're heading over, but they've kind of given up again because we've stopped attacking the hive there. Right, pull back slightly again. Running on is your best friend. Watch out, garbage. Good shooting. That's what we like to see. Are you actually trying to run and gun with that? No, surely you can't. I think it's got to be a limit. Wow, she actually did. What a shot. Shooting level 19 there. Holy shit. Right, this is where things get a bit more tricky. Let's bring you guys back slightly. There we are. That's better. Just keep a bit of range on these boys. They've still got to cross the river. All this boarding is doing us wonders because it's really, really slowing them down. It's giving us such a decisive advantage. Okay, one did get through that. Okay, now we're getting a little overwhelmed. Now's when we want to probably run and gun. Siala, watch yourself. Okay, good work. Right, come back to, uh, come back to like on the beach here, I think is a safe option. Look at this. What a clear out of insects, huh? Great work. Let's pull back a little bit further. Keep moving. Never stop. That mega spider could do with a, a shooting if, if that's not too inconvenient. Thank you. Oh, there we are. Oh, that was dangerous. Sweet Jesus. The corpses as well are not good for mood. So you've got to be careful that their moods don't go too low. Come on. It's just... Come on. Pull back then. And we're done. Okay. Is that most of them flushed out now? Well, it looks like it. There's only four left. What are they, asleep? Life-threatening blood loss extreme, but it seems to have patched itself up. Let's, again, push the advantage. If we leave these hives, they're just going to regenerate. I don't care if their moods are low. I don't care if they're sad or upset or injured. We get back through. We kill them dead. Never stop. Okay, well, don't shoot one another. That's not, that's not really what I want, I will admit. Right, get up here. Let's go ahead and punch that one to death. Could we press the finish off button? Absolutely, we could. This is way more cathartic, though. <laughs> Ah, right, here we go. Another mega spider there. The only thing I'm concerned about is shooting the hives is causing that entire other pack to come over. So when we want to start taking out these hives here, we're going to have to shoot one, let them go back, shoot another, let them go back and rinse and repeat. Otherwise, they are just going to come and rush us down and kill us dead because we can't fight all of those. That's just way too many, right? Here we go. Last couple of mega spiders now. What a great shot. Come on. There we go. Come on, take it down. How are we looking? So we've got one more there. We've got a spellipede that's kind of kicking around. Okay, all done. We've got one mega spider. What are those guys up to? Nothing, because we haven't attacked the hives yet. Let's get in there, take out as many as possible, and then just back off. Okay. Good luck, people. Just keep keep shooting. Okay, I'll, I'll keep an eye over here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Um. Yeah, that's not good, is it? Just fire at what you can. When they get a little too close, then we'll back off. Okay, what about, what about this hive here? Something wrong with that one? Oh, only one of us can actually see it. All right, there we go. Where are they now? Okay, they're getting a bit dangerously close. Let's back off for a little while. Let them go home. Come on, go home. Please go home. There we are. There we are. They're turning around. They're turning around. Some of them are turning around. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Oh, they're coming over to eat jelly. And then they'll go home. Good shit. Good shit. What are you firing at? God knows. Okay. Now we'll come back up. Slowly does it. This is going to take up me a long, long time. Okay, that's as far as I'm willing to take it today. We've taken out all but five hives. And then Hocus went on a murderous spree. And Keg Denta decided to start swearing at people. So at that point, I've decided let's just arrest them, carry them home, release them. And we'll come back tomorrow. We've thinned out all the insects. We've only got another five hives. And then the only thing that we have to worry about is this shit over here. We could just brick over this and forget about them. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. But we, we, we could potentially do it. How's that advanced component? 8 out of 70. If we want it, we are going to have to be bloody fast. Fucking Mondo, you're so useless. I drafted him up for two seconds to come over here. And to be fair, we've got Psychic Drone a high male and Psychic Drone a medium female right now. So, insects we basically dealt with today. 
that's that's a pretty big victory. I, I mean, I don't know how... Oh, my God. I don't quite know how we managed that, uh, but we have. Tomorrow, we'll deal with... We'll deal with the psychic side of things. Because that's obviously a massive penny. That's, what happened to Constantine? How did you... Garbage. Gar oh, they're all just fist fighting constantly. Do we need to deal with the psychic drone? I really should have done that as a higher priority. But to be honest, we'll, we'll do the shuttle tomorrow then. We'll do the shuttle strategy. Um, but I, I still think this was kind of the right thing to deal with when we dealt with it. You know, pushing the opportunity. Getting these guns produced has been a massive help. Right, let's just bait them out and then move back. And I'll, I'll land fire at will. Why not? There we are. Right, come on, people. Move back, move back, move back. Um, oh, Mondo, you're such a pain in the ass. Mondo's our best shot, too. He's having him not fight again. It's so fucking annoying. Right, we've just got a few more insects to flush out. Then we'll focus on the hives again for a day. Kind of take those down. Good shots. There we go. That's what I like to see. Garbage is about to turn up, too. A little bit of extra, extra firepower there. They get a little close, a little bit. A bit close for comfort. Good shit. We've got a couple more. And we're good. Hey, nice work. Right, let's get through that. Take out a couple more hives. There's, what, five hives here? There's seven now because they've been reproducing. And that's why I want to push the advantage while we've got it still. I am very concerned about the horde coming in. But <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Right, good luck, people. Just just open fire. We could take it out with a mortar again. Um, but I'm trying to save resources where possible because we were lacking resources quite heavily. Taking those ships apart, which is giving us a lot more components again. 58. Fantastic. So that couldn't have come at a better time. Let's see if we can take out all the hives in one swoop now. Because by the time those things get over here, we might have done a, a good amount of damage there. Five more. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta be so careful, though, with how we do this. Oh, good shit, good shit. One more, one more. Come on. Good stuff. There we go. Where's the... Okay, the hive is coming over. Okay, we got a couple of bugs. I, I would like to take out the last of the bugs as well. It's not a big deal if we can't. Shit, look at that. There we go. Wow, what a game changer. So we freed all this area open. Like I said, we'll take out a few more bugs. We're already just building embrasures across here. Embrasures and fire turrets or, or grenade turrets or something like that. I, I hate these people. I hate these people, but... I can't complain. You know, we I, we achieved far more than I expected. I genuinely thought that was going to be a game over when the insects were swarming down the base. I don't know how we've done it, but we have taken back control of the map besides this area, which again is, would be nice to deal with, but it's not like there's a, I mean, it's 39 mega spiders, five royal mega spiders. There's a lot, but it's not an unmanageable amount, weirdly enough. Anyway, we'll let these guys uh, beat the shit out of one another for a little while longer. Get themselves ready equipment, get themselves back up on their feet, eat some meals. Lavish meals would be a real game changer right now if we could get some of those going. Really cheer our people up a little bit. Leave it all there for today. Tomorrow, the psychic drone. Then we're done with that. And then we can blitz research. We can get into space. I, I genuinely think tomorrow, if we deal with the psychic issue, day after that, we'll go into space. And then we're, we're in full save our ship territory. Because we've got a good base. We've done a ridiculous amount of research today. Uh, despite everything else that's been going on. So... Let's see how it goes. Thank you to our coffee producers for making the series possible in the first place. I have actually done a... I tried to throw together a new system for coffee name suggestions, uh, for in-game characters, for C, uh, well, for Crusader Kings houses, and for end-screen credits and shout-outs. Uh, I've, I've, I've written up a post today kind of on coffee about that, so if you want to go check that out and have a look, feel free to. In the meantime, a big thank you goes out to James Shea, Huey Longdong, Psycho Fear, Boots, Spooky Booty Banger, Christian Blue, Kekvit Array, Night Rouge, Necrofillin, Alex Galibur, ne Nemesis Rubius, Out of All Context, Oliver, Boop, and Dork, along with everyone else in the executive producer tiers for their supports in keeping the channel going. The end screen, again, is, is slightly out of date because I'm changing over to the new system, so I'll get that updated ready for next time. And a thank you as well to KQ, the Magic Velociraptor, Trevor Brooks, Cyric313, Corrupt Racer, Arthur V, Hazel, KG Evans, Matteo, Electric Alice, Carsten, Vu Oxa, Telkus, Three, four, five. Jack Black Sheep, Eckle Cakes, Hero Club, and Shatulski for their supports over on Coffee as well. See you guys all tomorrow for taking back control. <laughs>